How y'all doing? Tonight, we gonna do some chili dogs. I got the idea from when I made that chili for the uh, hamburger helper contest the other night. It made that chili with that um, Raging Cajun relish, and that Tango Joe's, and it turned out so good, so I'm gonna kinda take that. I'm just going to make it on the side a little bit. We're going to make this real good for these hot dogs here tonight. Tell you what, this is going to be awesome. I got my cast iron right here heating up because we ain't going to make as much as we made the other night. And as soon as it gets heated up just a little bit, I'm going to put about a half pound of ground beef in there. If that's heated up a little bit, we're going to put, a, like I said, now it's got a pound of 80-20 in here. And we're just going to brown that off. You see, we're just going to brown this down, cook a lot of water out of it and stuff like that until we get all the meat nice and brown. All right, looks like you got the meat browned down. I'm going to pour this off in a strainer. Because you know, that meat had a bunch of water and stuff in it. I'm going to go ahead and wipe this pan down real good here. Get all those extra little pieces of meat and stuff like that out of it. This is a skillet I've used many times well seasoned. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little oil to it. Let's add a little bit of that water in there. And I'm getting ready to cook some tomato in there. You, which you can do as long as it's a well seasoned skillet. Add a little bit of oil first. We're just going to give it a nice coating. Heat up for a little bit and let this oil set in just for a minute. We got the pan well oiled, everything. We'll add a can of tomatoes, diced up, uh, roasted tomatoes. What I like to use for this recipe. I got to get me another spatula. We had that one in that meat when it was raw. So we're going to just saute these here for a minute. Now, like I said, tomatoes, they will. You know, people say don't cook in your cast iron. It's got acidic stuff in it. What it does, it'll strip your um, seasoning off the cast iron pan. But once it's been well seasoned like this, especially I'll cook that fatty uh, ham and everything in it this morning, re-oiled it again, this is going to be just fine. So we're going to simmer these tomatoes in here just for a little bit. So we add a little chipotle pepper I had frozen. It just came out of a can. We'll add that in there. I'm going to chop it up first. So now let's add that chipotle that I diced up real good. It's frozen. And that's why I add some smokiness and a little heat to this. Add our chili powder, powder of choice. Mine is this Tango, Tango Spice, uh, Tango Verde. I think it outweighs any of the chili powders I've tried out of a jar, unless you make your own. I mean, this stuff is great. For a little amount of chili like this, I'm only going to add almost a tablespoon, three quarters of a tablespoon, I guess. We'll add that in, stir it in. I'm going to add a little bit of cumin. About a teaspoon of it. So three quarters of a teaspoon maybe. Whoa, jump out of here. Let's stir that in. I'm gonna add some paprika. I'm using a sweet paprika. Add about a teaspoon of it. Just gonna let this simmer for about two or three minutes more, stirring it, and then we're gonna add the meat. Now that's starting to thicken up, see a lot of that water stuff's evaporating. That's the time we're wanting to add this meat. Now I bust this meat up with a spoon real good in this strainer. You don't want the big chunks out for this hot dog chili. Move this spoon out of here. We'll put the meat in here. We'll incorporate all that in. Just going to fold this meat here into the sauce and let everything cook. There's still some more juice going to come out of that meat probably too. But we're down here to a medium or medium low heat because we're retaining plenty of heat here in the pan. Just want to stir it slightly like this, you know, to where you know that everything gets mixed. At this point, when the rest everything's cooking, the ground meat and all is cooking out, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this chili powder. I'm just gonna sprinkle it on here like this. I just want, just want to season this meat right here before we add the rest of any liquid. We've got the Tango Joe's. The Tango Spice Company, Tango Verde here. I'm going to season that meat and just stir it around just a minute more. I'm going to add liquid. I got about a cup of tomato sauce. You can just get out of a jar or a can or whatever. I'm going to buy, add about half of it first. I'm going to stir it in. That's stirred in. I'm going to add the other half of the cup. A little bit more chili powder. Then I'm going to get it hang down here, stir it in, and I'm going to add a little bit of water. Or if you had chicken broth or something, that would be good too. A little bit of water just to bring it up like that. Now we're going to let this go. 
to a nice simmer and just cook everything even all this beauty out here just let it simmer turn it down we'll bring it up to a little simmer and we'll turn it down low low see how it's come to a little bubble now starting to simmer we'll turn it down to low which we'll let it sit here and let this water evaporate out of there and let all those flavors just mingle so now what we'll do, we'll transfer this chili into this stainless steel pot here. I don't want you to just sit here in this cast iron for any length of time, but it's cooked down to like where I like it. But I'm going to put it in that stainless steel and just let it simmer for a while. What I did on this pan is I got all that sauce out of here, took a wet paper towel, wiped it out. Now I'm wiping it out with a dry. Put it back here on the load burner. I'm going to put some oil in it and we'll wipe this oil down in it good. So we're just basically, you know, getting this oiled up and everything like that just to protect the cast iron. I've scrubbed this, scrubbed that good oil around there for a few minutes and we'll get a big piece of paper towel and we'll wipe it all out and just leave that nice shine and finish there. See there? Just getting all wiped out there. We just want to get that. There we go. Just leave that good finish. we got the cast iron all cleaned up. Got this here in this skill. I mean, this skill. This little um, saucer pan. I'm gonna add a secret. In, well, hold on. First, I'm gonna put it in my blender. I want a chili sauce basically for these hot dogs. So I'm gonna show you what to do. We'll put it in the blender. Just hold with me. Okay, kind of hard to film right now. I've got in a blender canister. I'm gonna add one spoon of this sweet jalapeno relish. Okay, this sweet jalapeno relish right here. This stuff's going to be awesome, okay? That really brings it out in this chili, this Raging Cajun Sweet Jalapeno Relish. We're going to blend it. Got it in a blender here. And y'all know how it always takes me a minute to figure out this thing. Blender. I'm going to turn it on. And, uh... Let's catch here just a minute. Give that a quick blend. I think that's probably enough right there. Making a wonderful chili sauce. We'll pour it back here in the, in the pan. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Now, I mean, this would be great. Well, dip some Fritos in this, make it a chili pie, whatever, put on hot dogs. Look at the consistency of that. That's what we're looking for right here. Oh yeah, that's awesome stuff. A little taste here. I'm telling y'all, it's going to be good. Mmm. Mmm. A1, man. Ooh, and spicy too. Got that little bit of sweet. What we'll do with this, we'll set this back off to the side. Get my cast iron back over here. I'll just put that new oil on. We'll to get some dogs. Put a little bit of oil in there first. Pan's got to come back up to temperature. Got me a couple of these good dogs here. Just old fair time hot dogs. Put a few of them down here. We'll just let them cook on that side. We'll kind of give these dogs a flip. Let them cook here for a second. Put this top on here. Turn this down lower. When we get the buns ready, give me a warm oven. We have a couple of these buns here. See these nice buns I got? We'll try to find something to cut them open with. No knife around. See, I'll just use my pocket knife here. Just kind of cut a little slit right in them. Just like that. And just bust them open a little bit. Do that with both of them. Now over here on a piece of tin foil like this. Let's see. Take one of these hot dogs. Take one of these nice dogs. See it's got the crispy skin and everything on the outside. All nice and crisp up from cooking that cast iron. That's what you want. Then we're gonna see what I want to do next. I'm gonna go with this chili. With the chili sauce. Yes, sir. Look at that beautiful chili sauce. Oh, yeah. Load them down. Then, after that, we'll go with the, uh, go with some onion. A little bit of uh, purple onion there. Hope you can see this. That onion. Then we'll go with a little bit more of this relish, this uh, jalapeno relish. I'm raging Cajun here. Some awesome stuff. Let me find a spoon. 
go with that. Glue it in on top. Just a little bit because we already got some in that, that chili. Then we got some cheese rolling in. We'll do, uh, do some cheese here on top. Yeah, I've got an oven preheated about 400 degrees. And we're going to pop that in there for a couple minutes and get everything all melted nice and good. And after that been oven a couple minutes, you just lift them out right here on the foil, set them on the plate. Look at these beauties. I tell you what. All right, so let's get a good taste of one of these dogs. Man, they look nice, don't they? Mm, 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 loaded. Mm, mm, mm. Tell you what, they beat that chili sauce, that relish, and the cheese on them hot dogs, nice and crispy from that cast iron. Good deal, y'all. Gotta try this one. Y'all, if you like my videos, Please hit the subscribe button on my channel. Subscribe, I got a lot more good cooking videos and gardening stuff and everything like that. And I appreciate it. Thank y'all.